It's time to see what's behind door number one. We're gonna strip these bedsides down and see what we got to deal with. You recall, I was trying to get this corner to straighten out. Well, I felt behind it and I feel a big crease, like there's a dent that got bondoed over. That's why it wouldn't move like I wanted it to. So let's get it stripped down, see what we're dealing with. Bare steel factory primer. It's brown, it's probably lacquer primer. And that's probably sealer on top of it, followed by paint, followed by another layer of paint. Getting into some body filler. I'm sure this whole corner is going to have body filler on it. I'm curious to see if we have any rust through here where a lot of them like to the rust. It may be where we have to find us another bedside or two. But for now, we're going to just take it on down, see what the metal looks like. When I see a repair like this that was done probably years ago, a lot of times people look at something and they say, oh, that person was a hack, or man, look at all the bondo on that, or whatever. And sometimes it is excessive or you know uncalled for. But a lot of times, to me, a repair is situational. You don't know if this person did it themselves. You don't know if they took it to a shop and said, I got a hundred bucks and that's all I want to spend. So there's limitations to what you can do for the dollar amount you're paid. In the end, if the customer's happy, he got what he paid for, all is good. So my 80 grit didn't want to cut that great, I switched over to 40. What I'll do is take the 40 grit and get it really close. I'll leave just a little bit of paint on there, the final factory primer. I'll try to get down to that point. Once it's all in that stage, then I'll switch back over to 80, finish it out. Trying to avoid having real deep 40 grit scratches in the metal. Shouldn't cut it too bad, but at the same time, I wanna stop before it's all gone, switch over to 80, finish it out. take a look at this thing so I've got it in 40 grit right now I got it pretty close won't take much to knock that last little bit off the reason I wanted to go ahead and sand the outside so I could see how much rust there was or filler work or what was going on with the bed back here in the back corner it's got some damage we can repair that but overall it's not bad it's still not straight but we've got quite a bit to work with very little damage I'm sure it's full of dents and dings no big deal we can straighten that what I want to do now is flip it over, get the inside of the bed stripped down, and hopefully in primer before long. I'll leave the outside like it is until I'm ready to prime the outside, and then I'll go over with the 80 grit, which will clean all the metal back up, get rid of what's on there. So hopefully it won't be too long before I can get to that point. Let's flip it over and play on the inside for a little while. 